Hello friends, I've got a little raking to do, but while I'm doing that, I wanted to talk to you about creativity and how YouTube creators come up with new ideas for their videos. So come out in the backyard and we'll get started. Yesterday, I mowed, and uh, kind of left a little bit of a windrow here, which I needed to rake up. But part of this uh, video is not only explaining the creative process, but it's also a test of the a. Uh, wireless audio technica wr70 i'll put a link down below as to the model number i can't recall it right now uh, to see how well it works i'm about maybe 40 feet from the camera right now so i hope you can hear me okay and uh, i will rake a little bit more here and then we will go inside and discuss this uh, topic of this video because I know that uh, you're probably getting warm out here because it's like 90, 92, 93 degrees and uh, hardly any breeze. So I'll continue working here and you guys just go on inside into the office and I'll be there in just a minute. Alrighty, it's much cooler in here, don't you think? Feels a lot better than it does outside. And uh, by the way, let me just check and see real quick here. Bear with me. Uh, it's still about 90. Anyway, feels good in here. We're just going to enjoy this. We're going to talk about creativity and uh, how you can use it to come up with new ideas for new videos. Now, first of all, disclaimer, I'm not a physician, I'm not a psychiatrist, psychologist, uh, I don't deal in the occult arts, uh, stargazing, crystal gazing, any of that stuff. I am a creative writer, for one thing. I am a wildlife artist. I uh, was a graphic designer for years, so I know something about the creative process, but especially as it relates to writing, when you're trying to come up with an idea for a book, a fictional book, if you sit down with a, a pen and a piece of paper and decide, okay, I'm going to think of an idea for a book, you might as well forget it, because I've tried that numerous times and it never works out. The better way is to let your subconscious take over and the idea will come to you. Now, I don't know how it works, but I know that um, it, it kind of works like this. You're wanting to write a book. It wants, you want it to be an adventure book. You may know what the title is. You may not. You may have a working title. Uh, you may know who the characters are or what the general uh, idea of the book is, or you may not. In most cases, you don't. You just know that you want to write a story, an adventure story. And you think of all the different things you could write a story about, and these same, same factors hold true with creating a video or coming up with a storyboard for a video. Uh, you, ha you really don't know what the setting is, although you do kind of like dark and stormy nights uh, as an opening. Um, but you try and try to think and nothing comes. It's like Emptiesville up here, man. 
So you go to sleep. You may watch a movie on TV before you go to bed. Um, you may read a little bit of a book before you go to bed. And your mind remembers all of those things and it kind of, it kind of rearranges things for you. And it may not happen the first night, but within about, you know, three to five days, maybe a week, your brain is going to start sending you little impulses, little ideas of, hey, what if you did this? What if uh, the story involves an ancient Aztec time machine that's been lost for centuries and you have the ability to go find it because you have uh, some experience with the Aztec area, you, you know about Peru, uh, and uh, your father owns a steamship line, so you're not going to have any trouble getting there. Just things like that, or something similar or totally dissimilar from that, can come into your head and spark just a tiny, tiny little germ of an idea. And it's kind of like baking a cake. You know you're going to have some chocolate in there, so you put that in there, and then you're going to add a little bit of flour and a little bit of sugar and a tiny bit of salt and this and that, and you're going to mix it all together, and it's going to, all those flavors are going to blend together. You're going to put it in the oven, and it's going to evolve and bake and turn into a beautiful masterpiece when it's finished. That's the same thing that can happen to a book, a poem, uh, a work of art, a video. So don't struggle so hard to try to come up with new ideas. Just let your mind wander. Let the ideas flow into your head and just, you don't even have to try to remember them. Your, your mind will make an image uh, of whatever goes in there and it will mix it all together and you might have to manipulate it a little bit uh, before it's totally baked but eventually it will come out and it will be something wonderful. So uh, I know that's a little bit uh, vague uh, as far as telling you exactly how to come up with an idea for a video. But a lot of times you work too hard, you struggle too hard, you get frustrated, you get discouraged. And when that happens, that kind of turns off your subconscious and your conscious mind as well, as far as being able to come up with ideas. So just relax, sit back, have a, have a little uh, glass of iced tea with sugar because my parents were from Tennessee and they don't offer tea without sugar down there. Um, so um, that basically is what I wanted to tell you. Just don't work so hard. Don't struggle so hard. Don't get frustrated. Don't... Uh, get discouraged. Watch other videos. Look at the ideas that other people have used for their videos. Don't plagiarize. Don't copy. But just take it all in. Just let it all go in. Just like sand through an hourglass. It will build up and eventually it will get to a point where you've got an idea. And that's when you execute. And that's what our next video may or may not be about. So that's it for now. Until I speak with you again, and even after that, you stay focused.